Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to share with you my new Cypripedium orchids. I just got my first two and I'm pretty excited about them. I have wanted some for a while and I found a, a decent deal on them. So there's the plants there. I got two different varieties. One is a Kentucky pink, this guy here, and one is a cross called Emil. E-M-I-L. That's this guy here. Beautiful plants. So these are a cold hardy slipper orchid, not a tropical slipper orchid. And they are going to want to spend their days outdoors where it is nice and cool and shady. I brought them in the greenhouse today only because it's raining and they're going to be going right back out after I'm done filming. So this one has two blooms on it. And I'll see if I can get a close-up of that for you. It is just an amazing color. Very red, sort of burgundy. Big fat pouch on them. You can see inside the pouch there. You can see the raindrops on it from it raining. So, I'm by no means an expert in their care. But things I do know about them is they are extremely cold hardy. They're hardy down to about minus 30 Celsius. Yep, so they're very, very um, tolerant of the cold. They are a perennial orchid. The media that they need, it looks like they're in a perlite. Here, let me um, bring some up. Looks like they're in a perlite peat moss sort of blend. It has to be very light and fluffy. There might be a bit of vermiculite in there as well. Can't quite tell there. But anyways, as long as it's well draining, light, fluffy, um, lots of organics in it, it will be good to go. Um, in the winter time here, we are going to have to protect them. Come on, refocus. In the winter time here, I'll have to protect them from the rains. So I will probably put something over the pot. Now some people plant these right in the ground. I think I am going to just put them in a bigger pot at the end of the season when they're starting to die back. That way they have um, a little bit more security being in, I'll probably put them in an 8 to 12 inch pot instead of the 5 inch that they're in now. But I'll use a similar mix, something very light, fluffy, organic, well draining, just like that one there. So, so we have the other guy on this side here. Look at the beautiful veining in the pouch. I absolutely love this one. It is just an amazing plant. So these guys bloom in May. They are a shade loving plant and basically this time of year they can handle a little bit of morning sun but um, as the days get warmer they basically need no sun whatsoever. The leaves on them are very very soft you can just tell they would burn very easily and they get an early start on everything like this or in flower in that like this because they don't want the competition from the other plants fighting for the sun in um, June and July when most other plants are going to be blooming. Generally every year in about September October the leaves are going to start to yellow once they yellow, they're going to start to go into their dormant period. They will go dormant down, just down to the chromosome there, and then usually come back with one to two new growths for every growth that um, dies back. So that's exciting. That one is a two growth plant. So potentially next year there could be three to four growths. And this plant here, it is a three growth plant already. So next year there could be, gosh, anywhere around six gross, I guess, or up to six. This one is just such an amazing color, isn't it? I love the pouch. It is just so beautiful. But yeah, so those are my new Cypripedium orchids. I hope you enjoyed this video, 
And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching. Let me see if I can get a close-up of this guy.